Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Happiness a Lifestyle. And uh, today, um, I'm sorry, just ignore my uh, lips. You can see that I did some lip swatch video before and uh, the that stained my lips a little bit. Um, uh, not really lip swatch video, but the color I applied on that video, um, the Lonely, no, the Atomic uh, Makeup uh, NYC's liquid lipstick in Atomic color. Uh, stain my lips a little bit so you know that's why you see my lips look pink and I don't have any lipstick or anything on right now because I want to show you this one I'm going to review Maybelline the new I don't know if this is new or old um, um, product but I saw it now in the stores so I thought okay uh, and I think Everybody has been reviewing this, so I thought I'll buy one. So I got at this at Ulta yesterday. And this is the Super Stay Matte Ink. Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Uh, liquid lipstick that they have come up with. And I'm going to show you how it applies. And I also got this because this, I have not seen anything like this. So Super Stay Eraser to erase your lipstick. So I got this just to try it and i tried it yesterday and it's pretty much like a lip balm because i pretty much use my lip balm sometimes when i'm out and i want to fade my lipstick or i want to take the lipstick off i use my chapstick so the chapstick pretty much does this job so i i'm going to show i'm going to demonstrate this but i would not recommend to buy it i think i'm going to go return i don't like i mean it's not worth the price because i got this was um 7.99 guys and the lipstick is 9.49 and this is the price at ulta and i actually got them for less only because i used that 350 dollar off and i actually got them for less like one for eight dollar and one for 680 um but that's only because i used my coupon but i think if you buy a target or something you'll get them below eight this probably is below eight at target so go buy a Target if you want just one or something, you can go buy a Target. Uh, that would be better than buying at Ulta. So let me uh, show you the application of this. And I did try it yesterday and uh, I am not completely, I'm going to give my honest review because, you know, uh, no, I mean, this is not a sponsored video or anything. And I rely on honest reviews from my YouTube uh, makeup gurus so only watch such kind of videos so i would also give only honest review and um so let me show you how it applies and i i am not completely liking it uh, because of certain things and i'm going to share why so let me show you the let me zoom in a little i just have my lip balm my chapstick on and that pink stain you see is from my old the lipstick that stain so this color that i got is um was is called as ruler ruler and it is number 80 it's called ruler number 80 and let me show you the color and and the the cover this is how the cover looks let me zoom out this is how the cover looks so when as soon as you open it comes up like that on its own you know it has a pressure there and this is how it looks and the color is really beautiful actually like a pink color um, and you can see that it actually the applicator is really very different if you can see um, kind of that I don't know what this is called but I don't know like a dew drop or whatever that kind of applicator um and the product you can see at the end of it so i'm going to apply this so i guess zoom in a little bit not too much others you're going to see my zit and every pigmentation on my face and also i have lashes on today for the first time in my life and i didn't put it properly on so you can all see all those edges come out there but it's okay first time right 
I'm allowed to do mistakes. Color is really pretty and for me I have very small lips I don't need to dip again and again so one dip is all, all, always enough for me and I would advise just one thin layer not more than that so as you can see the color is really beautiful and yeah it looks nice the color is nice but only thing I found with this is now give it a little time and after that I'm going to tell you what is it that I don't like about this give it like a minute before that let me um, yeah so you can you can see that now let me show you how hold on I think uh, I should give it a little more few more seconds and you can see how it feels like sticky I don't know if you can see it okay let's give us give it another few seconds for that now let me uh, show you another product that I have here just pretty similar I wanted to compare that with this because I have this and I don't really like this this to me this is the Revlon's uh, Revlon what is it called the Revlon Provocalypse 16 hour and the color I have is I will call you which is pretty much the same color as what I'm wearing here uh, it's kind of the same color um, is the name on there yeah there I will call you and this to me I this is one of my products that I regret buying I don't I didn't like this at all I don't know why I didn't return it I think I thought I'll review and I kept it you know with me um, I've been keeping this from last year actually because I never started any makeup reviews so I just kept it like that I've never used it um, and at that time I think I was not that very very well versed with understanding how to use liquid lipstick so that's why I thought I'll, I would give it a try again so I used it again now um, to try it and I still am not a fan of it and the reason it feels like paint I feel like I have paint on my lips and after like an hour or so it gets dry so then they have they have this I don't like these things where I have to use two two things so they have this um, liquid here that you need to dab on to moisturize your lip and then then it, it it looks fine right but if you don't put this on and it dries then it, it's going to start cracking and everything so I don't know I don't like this kind of products which I feel like I have paint on and even when you remove you can see that it actually comes out you know it just cracks out and it comes like paint it really looks like paint so that's why I don't like it and even the smell is I didn't like the smell of it it's kind of I don't know yeah it has like really like paint smell so even at that time it smelled like that so I uh, that's the reason I don't really uh, like this and this is the Rimmel London's Provoca Lip 16 hours so don't waste your money on this if you don't if you don't like that kind of feeling on your lip like paint on and then you have to actually keep moisturizing it with this uh, don't get this so I didn't like this so if you can uh, let me just show you how it looks so if you see the reason I'm comparing with this is because the way the the texture of it is like paint like that the way it comes out is exactly same the way the Maybelline is except Maybelline it smells good it's not like that bad smell and once like it smells like cake yeah cake like or vanilla cake or something like that it smells like that very sweet smell uh, but what I don't like about it is it for few hours after you apply it it feels very sticky see that
it's so sticky and that feeling of that stickiness like when you're sitting somewhere and suddenly try to talk and you can actually feel your lip you know yeah stick and then <laughs> go out i don't like that feeling so that is the one reason otherwise i think the the color lasts for some time it does get dry after some time but not too dry it's not that bad you can handle it and you know maybe if you put some moisturizer in between then it will be fine but that's the only thing that i don't like about this is that stickiness i feel like i have something on and and when i try to talk it like it feels like it's my my lips are sticking so that's one reason that i'm not a fan of this and then let me erase it and try to show you how to erase it whether it works so i'm going to use this the eraser and try to erase it and i have seen that it actually works but you know what instead of doing all this i can as well use my chapstick and i'm going to use just a regular uh, napkin because i'm assuming that you'll be using this when actually you don't have any makeup remover so i don't want to remove it with that i'm just going to use a regular napkin and take it off and as you can see it did take everything off so it it's just like a luxurious lip balm is what i feel but i think it has a lot of chemicals in it also so i don't think it's as good as you using some lip balm like chapstick or birds bee or anything i would rather use that so not a fan of this either for that price not a fan of it i would rather use my chapstick and do the same job so that's my review so i uh i don't know in 10 i probably would give it a number 6 maybe 6 or 7 because that sticky feeling to me is a big deal for me because i don't like feeling like that all the time um so so that's one thing that i've seen that is bad about the this liquid lipstick so there you go guys um so see you in my next video uh, and if you have uh, visited my channel the first time please subscribe like and comment um and i will bring more videos like this on makeup related or reviews um and you can rely on my honest review i will only say i like it if i actually like it on me and if and if it works on me it doesn't mean it will work on you either you still have to try but at least if you are of same skin tone um you know and same you like the same things i like then you will probably like it so thank you so much for watching uh, bye guys um see you in my next video love you all stay healthy stay happy